Hi folks, the tech thinker here. Please subscribe and thumb up. It's very important for the channel. Today we're going to learn uh, control structures. What are actually control structures? Well, a control structure is like um, a block of programming that analyzes variables and chooses a direction in which to go based on given parameters. Okay, um, we are going we are going to create a class here. Uh, let's call it control structure structures public study boy void as method and we have now the class so what are these control structures let's say first of all if okay then we have else and then we have if else also and then we have something like the loops and loops are uh, for example um, for while uh, we have for each also for each and then uh, uh, we have another kind of control structure this is switch okay so we are going to learn this one in the next uh, minutes and videos so let's create um, a variable let's say we want to create a variable number equal to uh, five okay and then we want to use the uh, control structure if and we say if number and then we have to choose the condition what is the condition well in this case we are going to learn we are going to use other kind of um, uh, operators these are the logical operators for example this one And I'm saying if if number is equal or bigger than zero, then please print in the console this number. We are gonna test it. And this is the case because we have um, uh, uh, 5 which is uh, create, greater than uh, um, number than 0 sorry let's use another condition uh, we only use in this case else and then we write here uh, the value is greater than uh, 4. We change this value here with 4 and we use this one. This is another uh, logic operator less than or equal 4. So we are we are saying that if number is uh, less than 4 or equal uh, 4 then please print this number in the console. If not please print this value and if we run it we have here the value is greater than 4 okay let's create a new uh, new conditions so let's say uh, we create the variable int uh, uh, number 1 equal to uh, we say 10 okay so and we say if number 1 equal to zero and this is another condition another uh, operate logical operator this is equal okay then print the value of this variable is and then we print the value of this variable and 
uh, or let's say is zero. Okay. Else, if so, this is the second condition. Number one. is equal one the value of this variable is greater than zero else Um, this value is too big. So, in this case, we are using um, a second condition. And the second condition is this one. So, there is one condition in which number one could be equal to zero, and the second condi condition in which um, number one could be equal to one. And then, there are all the other conditions conditions so it um, all other cases which are in this statement here else and here okay so if we run it here now we have this result this value is too big why because 10 is not equal to 0 and not equal 1 okay so if we write here 1 and we run it we have the value of this variable is greater than zero, which is right. If we write zero, the value of this variable is zero, which is right. And this is this is this case. Okay. So let's create another variable. Let's say um, int tires equal to uh, three. Okay. And then we write if tires is not equal to four, we print this is not a car. Okay, so this is another logical operator not equal. So we have we have equal, we have not equal, and we have greater than, and we have less than. Okay? This is what we are using here in this statement. Um, in this case, we run the application, we run our program, we see this is not a car. Why? Because a tires is equal to three, and three is is um, tires is not equal to sorry tires is not equal to four, and this is the case. So and that's it. This is with uh, the, with this. This is the use of uh, logical operators and if else and if else. Thank you very much, and please subscribe, thumb up. It's very important for the for the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.